In the name of the one who is the peace and gives peace. Dear viewers, welcome to our program, 50 Ways to Happiness. This is Ways 34. Expectations. Expectations is something that would have profound impact on your mood. So expectation basically means you have a strong belief that something would happen or you're waiting for some type of behaviors or response while you're interacting with people. So now expectations can be in three ways or there are three level of expectations number one expectation about yourself which is good expectation in relation with other people which is bad expectation in relation with God so now let me break all these three for you number one you have to have high expectation of yourself which is very healthy the higher expectation you have from your own self the more energy you would have for example, you have to have expectation about your own life that you would have a very nice, good future. You have to have expectation about your future that it's going to be way easier than now. You have to believe in yourself that you would be able to solve your problem in future that you would be able to make more money in future, God willing, that you would be able to have more achievements in future. And you have to believe that you are able to stand tall and stand for your belief and for what you believe. So this kind of expectation about yourself is very healthy. It's good. Actually, it gives you a lot of energy to have high expectation of yourself. The second expectation is bad. It drains your energy, which is expectation of expectation from people. There are so many people they are miserable and they are stress, they have a stressful life. It's because people cannot meet their expectations. You must know this point, it's very important. People would never live up to your expectation. And this is, this is fact. So in order to have a smooth, easy life without the stress, decrease your expectation to zero from people. Have zero expectation from people. Those people who have a lot of expectation from people, they always would be disappointed. As I mentioned, people cannot live up to your expectations. I give you some examples. For example, you give a gift to someone, to your friend, worker, I mean your co-worker, or someone whom you, you think that, you know, I'm gonna give this gift for any reason marriage you know to give someone a gift in their marriage or if they accomplish something you give them a gift so when you do that you basically spend money and time and you pick something as a gift and you give that gift to that individual and in return you do not get what you expect 
For example, sometimes people do not even like gift. They just say, you, don't, you, you know, I don't like this kind of gift. Some people are, you know, rough to that extent. They f say it in your, in your face. So you become so disappointed because you wanted to see your friend or loved one to be excited when you, you know, thought about, you know, giving him or her a gift. So, for example, another, I give you another example. You invite someone over your house. You, just, you cook, you prepare, you know, different type of food. At the end of the gathering, they do not thank you. You feel so disappointed. Or sometimes you run into your friend, a long, you know, you know, a friend that you haven't seen for, for a long time. And you run and you hack your friend and in return he is going to just, you know, behave in a very cold and, you know, a strange manner that you would, you would be so shocked. Because you, you were expecting a warm, you know, uh, treatment from your friend. At least, you know, to, to be excited. I mean, when you become excited, you, always, uh, you also expect your friend to be excited as well, seeing him after a long time. But in most, most cases, it's not the case. Sometimes people even deny knowing you. <laughs> so you feel bad about yourself. And it ruins your day. Sometimes it, it has negative impact. Um, on your on your uh, soul for the for the rest of the week, and sometimes you sacrifice for people. You know, you you sacrifice your time, your money. You know, uh, sometimes your life. You, know, you just do so many things for them, but at the end of at the end of the day, or in conclusion, what you get zero. Or sometimes they leave you alone and when you face problem they leave you alone so these kind of expectations that we have from people you know you respect people at the same time you also want them to respect you but they don't respect you and you cannot force them to respect you so it makes you disappointed and you feel so sad and unhappy about yourself and about your life this is also bad to have expectation from people Number three level of expectation is expectation from your Creator, expectation from God. If you have expectation from God, which is good, you're always positive and you always believe that God is good and He's going to provide good things for you and He's going to find you, uh, show you a way to get out of your problem or He is going to solve your problem and He is going to give you more. So the more expectation you have from God, and you know the, the way you think about your creator positive thinking being positive about your God the easy easier your life is gonna get so number one expectation about yourself is good expectation about people is bad expectation about God is good so how you, how we can solve this how we can practice it and how we can bring this information or knowledge into practice number one any activity you do in relation to people or uh, anyone that you interact with, always make sure that you have good intention. Your intention is to seek pleasure of your God, not to get a good response, not to get you know, uh, the same gift that you, you gave. Not to have the same party that you made, you you know you you had for for your friends, but not the same the same type of food that you prepare for your friends or family. So if you do your activities, your deeds with good intention while interacting with people, if they do not respond the way you expect, you're not gonna get the press because you already had your mind that you do it for the sake of your God to get reward in the hereafter if people respond positively or understand it and appreciate your uh, effort your energy great if they don't you're not gonna get disappointed but number two talk about your expectation 
For example, if you if you go somewhere, let's say you're you want to go to work and you want to work some com company or you, you you're a speaker or you are some kind of you know professional and you want to do you know some kind of work for people make it straight ahead at the beginning this is my fee this is what i expect or if you do something and you ret you want something in return for example if you're um, you know helping someone if there's money involved make it you know clear that i i do this i charge if you're a speaker and you want to charge people you know providing you know a speech tell them this is my my uh, my rate this is how much i charge you can't just you know assume people know what's your expectation so this is a solution how to you know uh, avoid going into depression sadness or unhappy moments if your expectation doesn't meet so the best solution is to talk about your expectation and when you're interacting with your family with your kids you always talk about your expectation what you expect from your wife what you expect from your kids lay down your rules and your expectation for them what do you want your kids to do when it comes to some kind of responsibility tell them this is your responsibility this is your responsibility and also discuss your expectation with your wife and the same way wife can uh, you know discuss her expectation so talking about it would help a lot of i mean uh, you know would reduce a lot of stress so expectation can be uh, can be helpful if you talk about it and if you do not talk about our expectation, people don't know what are our expectations. So I hope you will find this reminder beneficial. And if you do, please make sure you share this with your friends and followers. Thank you so much.